What's going on everybody? It's Ryan Fontenot here with Rage Ministries where together we are reaching a generation endangered. It is my favorite time of the year. It is camp season and I want to know, are you Ready. Thousands upon thousands of teens across the country are going to gather for a week-long summer camp. We are going to see God do incredible work. And are you ready for it? Are you ready? Camp ready. Now, I want to ask you six questions that will help you, yes you, get camp ready. Camp ready. You know, we often step into camp and we're like, I can't wait to see what God is doing. Can you imagine this year what God is going to do? And a lot of times we step into camp not ready. We step in expecting God to move when this year, what if we stepped in already camp ready? with God moving in our life, already with a fresh walk with God, already with God stirring in our hearts and lives. So how can we get camp ready? Question number one, where am I with God? In Genesis chapter three and verse nine, the Bible simply says this, but the Lord God called to man, where are you see, I believe the very first question that you and I have to answer before we are ready for camp is, hey, where am I with God? Where am I in my salvation with God? Have I come to the place where I have turned from sin and turned from self and trusted in Christ? Or have I had the time where I confess, Jesus, you are Lord of my life. I am yours. Where are you with God in regards to your relation? Are you walking with him daily in prayer? in the Word. Are you walking daily with God? Where are you? You see in Genesis 3, 9, man had sinned and woman had rebelled and God came looking for them and what he said is, where are you? So I wonder today, where are you with God? Don't wait for camp to get right with God. Start right now. Question number two is found in the New Testament in Mark 10, 51. Jesus rolled up on the scene of a man who was blind and this man had been sitting by the roadside begging and he hears Jesus is coming and he cries out for him and the people around him say, shh, don't bother him. And the Bible says though that he cried out all the more and the Bible says something powerful that Jesus stopped and he asked the man a question. Are you ready? Here it is. What do you want me to do for you? And this is the question I believe, secondly, we need to ask, what do you want Jesus to do for you? What is it that you need to hear from him? Where is it you need God to speak? What is it you need God to heal? What relationship needs to be mended? What sin needs to be repented of? What do you need Jesus to do for you? Don't wait for camp to ask him. Go ahead tell him now. The Lord, show me. Lord, direct me. Lord, free me. Lord, heal me. Go ahead and begin to ask him now. Question number three, are you ready for it? Here it is. How can I make camp better? 1 Corinthians 12, 12 says that just as the body is one and has many members and all the members of the body, though many, listen, are one body, so it is with Christ. Oh, okay, listen to me. If you are in Jesus, you are part of the body. And if you are part of the body, you are necessary. So the question is this. How can you make camp better? You're going to go. You're going to show up. God is going to move in your life. But how can you make camp better? Who can you serve? Where can you give? What is the way that you specifically can use your talent, your gift, your ability to make camp better. I don't know what that looks like for you. Maybe it's maybe it's asking your youth pastor, hey, where can I help you before we go? Maybe it's asking her, hey, where do you want me to show up? Or how can I be praying for you? Or maybe it's reaching out to him and going, hey, listen, um, hey, we're getting ready for camp. And during camp, how can I best serve this youth ministry? How can I serve you? Maybe you don't know how you can make camp better, but I promise you this. If you're part of the body, 
You are in Christ. Christ is in you. Listen to me. You have a role to play. Because you don't want to go to camp and just get. You need to go to camp and give. So ask, how can I make camp better? Question number four. This question might seem obvious or it might not seem obvious to you. And if your youth group um, has closed camp already, this question may not pertain to you. But if the enrollment and the signups for camp are still available, this is one for you. Who needs to come with me? Check it out. John 1 41. The Bible says that he, Andrew, he first found his own brother Simon and said to him, we have found the Messiah, which means Christ. And what did he do? Andrew, because he had been found by Jesus and he found Jesus. Look close. It says he brought him to Jesus. Who needs to come to camp with you? Who in your life is a friend? Who in your life is a family member that needs to come to camp with you? Who needs to come and hear and see and experience the Holy Spirit of God, moving in the people of God, drawing those who don't yet know God to salvation bought by Jesus for God? Who is it that you need to bring to camp. Write some names down right now. One name, two name, three name, I don't know, five names. Who is it that needs to come to camp with you? Would you write their names down and would you commit to pray for them even right now? Because listen, many of them will not come simply because you didn't ask. And some of them will come simply because you asked. So who do you need to bring to camp? Question number five. When will you invite them to come? See, the Bible says in John 4, Do you not say, aren't there still four months until the harvest? Look, Jesus says, I tell you, lift up your eyes and see, say it, the fields are white for harvest. That's right. Your friends are ready. Those that don't know Jesus may be being called right now by Jesus. They're trying to figure out life. What's going on in this world that's going cray cray? They're looking for some truth. They're looking for some answers. They're looking for something real. And you've got the real deal, Jesus. And I want to ask you, when are you going to invite them to come? Do it now. Send them a text. Shoot them a message. Say, hey, come to camp. When's your camp? Text a friend and ask them, what are you doing? I want you to come to camp with me. It's going to be awesome. You're going to love it. And I guarantee you, you will never be the same. Imagine, imagine a simple question. Will you come to camp with me? And how that question could change someone's life forever. So I want to ask you one final question. So you can be camp ready. Why is there such urgency? For he says in the time of my favor, I heard you, and in the day of salvation, I helped you. I tell you, now is the time of God's favor. Now's the day of salvation. You see, in the Bible, there is um, always this, this kind of tension between the already and the not yet. There's this tension of, man, we have today, but yet we don't know if we have tomorrow. And the truth is, there's an urgency to get ready for camp because you just don't know. I I have eight camps that I'm supposed to preach at this summer, but I don't know if God will let me preach at any of them. I don't know if I'll make all of them, some of them, none of them, because I don't know what tomorrow holds. So I want to be ready today for camp. I want to be walking with Jesus today with camp. I want to examine where am I with God today. I want to ask Jesus to do something for me today. I want God to show me people in my life that need him today. I want to invite someone today. See, today is the only day we have. As a matter of fact, the Bible says, what is your life? It's it's but a mist that is here for a little while and then vanishes away. So can I just encourage you right now to feel the urgency of these questions that we've asked already and to press into them over this next time and to get ready for camp. I don't know if your camp is a week away or or, or four weeks away or it's at the end of the summer. It doesn't matter. Can I encourage you right now, teens? Get ready for camp now. Can I encourage you, adults? Get ready for camp now. Can, Can I encourage you, youth pastor? Get ready for camp now. Hey, Camp speaker, can I encourage you? Get ready for camp now. Band, worship leader, illusionist, skit people, get ready for camp now.